Hi everyone, it's time for another reaction video to another Eurovision 2023 entry, an internal selection again, this time from the Netherlands. So we've got Mia Nikolai and Dion or Dion Cooper. And I do know, I don't know who they are, but I know that Duncan Lawrence is heavily involved. I think he basically put them together or he wrote the song, he's working closely with them. So he'll be in the delegation, I guess. Now, the Netherlands last year, De Geek, I absolutely loved. Honestly, it's like my favorite, one of my favorite Dutch entries of all time. And from all the songs last year, I think it turned out to be one of my favorites overall. So it will be really hard to top that. I remember in my reaction video for that, I didn't love it at the first listen, but second listen, I loved it. So I'll always have a special place in my heart for me. So it will be hard to beat. But another one of my favourite Dutch entries, in fact, if I had to pick, maybe my favourite Dutch entry of all time, is of course 2014, The Common Lingettes love that song that's an iconic classic eurovision entry for me and that is a male and female duo just like this year so will this be similar to that have a kind of country vibe or is it a ballad probably a ballad i'm kind of intrigued to hear this because i don't have any expectations i don't know what it's going to be like. So I'm I'm kind of looking forward to hearing it. So the premiere of the video has happened. So what I could do is have a look at the comments. Let's have a quick look. They look fairly positive. Uh, so much potential. Uh, a powerful ballad. Somebody comparing it to Norway 2015 and Estonia 2015. Okay, I think I've got a bit of an idea. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to this. Let's go the Netherlands with Burning Daylight. Here we go. Oh. We haven't got that many ballads so far, so it's nice to have a few more ballads. It's interesting that Duncan Lawrence wrote this, because you can kind of feel that, like I can hear the Duncan Lawrence sing it. He's got a good voice. Okay. Yeah, it is very Duncan Lawrence, isn't it? It's a nice modern ballad, which I like. Okay. I wonder what the staging will be like for this. Will it be like the Comilorettes, like face to face with each other? I like it. But for the competition, I'm not sure if it will make much of an impact. Okay. I was thinking, like, is it going to pick up a bit? It's picking up a little bit. Goodbye, old life. I think that's what they're saying. Oh, okay. I quite like this. Okay, yeah. 
you know what i i do like that actually i like it like for what it is if you think about the song in the context of a competition in Eurovision, I'm not sure if that will end up making that much of an impact. And I do wonder actually for staging, like what can they do with that for staging? Make it very simple maybe? Will it be like a very kind of audience holding up their phones, lights in the air kind of moment? But I like it. it I was sort of thinking, is it going to pick up a little bit? It kind of did towards the end. But I quite liked that it was quite acoustic for most of it. Yeah, I, I did quite like that, actually. Okay, I think... Yeah, I can't see it being, like, one of my favourites. But like I said earlier, we haven't got that many ballads apart from Estonia, Italy, Lithuania, I guess. So I, I was kind of looking for another ballad and we've got one and it's a nice one. Yeah, I actually really like the verses and I really like their voices. Yeah, I do like it overall. I think some people won't like that. You know, that's not going to be for everyone. Some people think that's boring. Um, yeah, I do kind of get that, um, but I quite like it. Yeah, I, I think it's it's nice enough. I'm looking forward as well to finding out what they can actually do in terms of staging. Because I haven't got any ideas of what they could do, but it would be interesting. So, okay. Yeah, well done in Netherlands. I like it and I'll be adding that to my playlist. Like I have with almost every other song <laughs> every year. So let me know what you think of the Dutch entry. Do you think they can qualify from semi-final one? That's the first question because semi-final one is very tough. It's being called the bloodbath semi-final yet again. Do you think they can get out of that first of all? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I would assume so, but you never know with this whole televoting semi-final thing, you know, will it badly affect some countries? maybe um but i like it yeah so thank you well for watching and i'll see you very soon for the next reaction video bye